Hello friends, and now we will discuss about uh, impedance matching and balloons, right? So we know the importance of impedance matching, and uh, if not, how to match the impedance? So impedance matching is very important while joining two systems or two components together. Then only the communication will be properly matched, properly executed. So if not matched, what we have to do? in the communication part okay so how these uh, balloons the balance to unbalance or unbalance to balance structure this is an equipment how it is going to match the impedance this we will discuss in the today class so with this quote we will uh, move on to the topic i have not failed i have just found 10000 ways that won't work right so from this we can understand that he found that there are 10000 ways how a project does not work right this is the uh, really very uh, important uh, fact for uh, every life right so now we will move on to this impedance matching and why we are going for impedance matching. so what is the major goal of impedance matching in order to maximize the power transfer to the load right and we have to minimize the signal reflection from the load so because of these two objectives we are going for the impedance matching and see the pictures here we have a uh, lot of uh, devices these devices are going to match the impedance so these are called the balloons b a l balance u n unbalanced so balance to unbalance so these are the devices used to match the impedance when we join two systems together right for example before proceeding all these things what do you mean by balanced and what do you mean by unbalanced feed lines right so take for example here we have uh, a twin lead uh, wires uh, we have uh, two conductors in this cases right there are two conductors one is at the top another one is at the bottom so here this is a conductor one and here we have another conductor so here the current direction will be opposite to each other so what is happen here because of this current flow in opposite directions the generator electromagnetic fields cancel each other right so this is called as balanced feed lines this balanced feed line is used in amateur radio systems so what do you mean by unbalance for example in the coaxial cable we have right coaxial cable we have only one conductor at the center that is a single conductor and this is a shield right the single conductor it current flows only through the center conductors so coaxial cable is the main uh, example for this unbalanced feeding lines it is used in this lora systems now we will discuss about if we connect coaxial cable to any other uh, antenna systems how we can connect together whether it needs any balanced systems or unbalanced systems right that we will discuss further and these are the examples of uh, some balanced uh, antennas and unbalanced antenna system the first one is the half a dipole antenna is the balanced antenna the second one is the unbalanced antenna and this is the uh, uh, different examples of uh, balanced and unbalanced antennas where well, helical antenna is the unbalanced and sleeve dipole is the balanced antenna systems and this is a collinear antenna is the unbalanced antenna systems so these are the few examples we have right now see this uh, example right how a balloon will be connected or when a balloon will be connected see here this is the dipole antenna it's placed at the top of the case so this is the dipole antenna it is purely balanced one now the dipole antenna is connected with the coaxial cable we know that coaxial cable is the unbalanced cable right so now this is the unbalanced coaxial cable this is the balance dipole antenna so while joining these two different category we need to go for a balloon systems so balloon is going to match the impedance between one to another clear now see here the yellow color box is nothing but it is the structure of the balloon so now this balloon is going to match the impedance between coaxial cable to this dipole antenna so with an so now we will discuss an example 
So this is the balloon system which is going to match with 1.5 is to 1 ratio. What are these? If your dipole antenna is connected with your coaxial cable, uh, now the coaxial cable impedance is 50 ohms and dipole impedance is 75 ohms, right? While joining these 75 ohms to the 50 ohms, uh, the impedance is not properly balanced. So in order to balance the impedance, we have to go for the balloon with the ratio of 1.5 is to 1. So this is the ratio we are going to fix over here. So if it is what will happen, this balloon will match the 75 ohms of this dipole will be equivalent to 50 ohms of the coaxial cable. So this is the real example of uh, one systems. And this is the uh, practical uh, picture, that is the real time picture of the balloon, how it is connected with the dipole lantern. Right. So here we have the balloon system is connected over here. This is the coaxial connector and this is the uh, dipole antenna. So when a balloon is not required, that is balanced feed line feeds with the balanced antenna or unbalanced feed line feeds with the unbalanced antenna. If while joining two antennas or two one antenna with one connector, if both are balanced, balloon is not required. If both are unbalanced, balloons will not be required, right? The impedance will be matched together. So when a balloon will be used, if the balanced feed line is connected with the unbalanced antenna, or unbalanced feed line is connected with the balance center. So in these conditions, the balloon will be used, right? So these are the balloons. Okay, we know these balloons are used in our cable televisions, right? This balloon is going to match the impedance from 75 ohms to 300 ohms. So these are the uh, our real examples uh, that we are using nowadays. And see here, this is the actual technical uh, details of the balloons. Okay. So for example. Uh, this is the coaxial cable we have, this is the coaxial cable, this is the outer shield and the center conductor and this green color is nothing but the uh, balloon structure, it is going to match the impedance. For example, see this diagram is your uh, technical details of this uh, balloon structure and this is the center core is connected with one terminal of the antenna, the outer uh, shield is connected with the uh, other terminal of the antenna. So this is a terminal antenna terminal 1, this is antenna terminal 2, right. So center core is connected with this terminal 1 and outer shield is connected with the terminal 2. In this kind of cases, we know that this is a coaxial cable, it is not balanced, but your dipole antenna is the balanced one. So now we are connecting unbalanced coaxial cable to the balanced antenna systems. If it is what will happen, the current produced in this terminal 1 is IA, but the current produced in the terminal 2 is IB minus IC. Now these two current components are not equal. Why? Because the IB current component is combined with IC current component. Right? The IC current component is produced in the outer shield. This current component should be minimized. Right. So, how we can minimize this current component produced in the outer shield? Otherwise, what will happen? It makes always unbalancing the current between the two terminals. So, our objective is we are going to minimize this IC current component and to make the IB and IA are equal in the antenna terminals. Right. So, this is the equivalent circuit. With the equivalent circuit, I will explain that how to minimize this I3 current component in the outer shield. Right. So this is the equivalent circuit of the uh, entire system and now I am going to provide this kind of arrangements, right? One arrangement I am going to provide over here, the arrangement will make uh, I3 is uh, making I3 is equal to 0. See here, the outer shield I am going to connect one, uh, along with the outer shield I am going to connect one uh, structure that is going to improve this uh, impedance, okay? By increasing the impedance of the outer structure. I am going to minimize this I3 value. So then I can balance this I2 current component in the terminal of the load, right? So now you will get I1 is equivalent to I2. The objective is I1 is equal to I2. So by neglecting, how we can neglect? By connecting some other arrangement in the outer shield to minimize the I3 current component. So obviously we are going to increase the impedance of the outer shield, right? So in order to minimize the I3 current component, then we can balance this terminal impedances and uh, for this uh, case we have uh, three different uh, balloons one is bazooka balloon 
the second one is a lambda by 4 coaxial balloon the third is the compact design compact construction of the evo right so what do you mean by bazooka balloon see here in the bazooka balloon it requires a lambda by 4 length in the metal sleeve that is your uh, the extra that is this is the lambda by 4 metal sleeve has been connected over here whose length is lambda by 4 and it is shorted at one end and it encapsulates that uh, uh, complete coaxial line so what is happening here how we can uh, achieve uh, the zero almost zero current component so this structure will increase the impedance and because of the high impedance the i3 current which is flow over through this path will be reduced to zero right so that is very important so this uh, outer side is the lambda by 4 length of the metal that is a new metal sleeve has been connected or shorter to this coaxial outer conductor so this particular uh, portion will increase the impedance uh, if there is almost infinite or higher level and because of this high impedance the i3 current component will be reduced to zero this is the one case so now it makes uh, your antenna system is almost balanced with the coaxial lines right so one of the uh, part the second one is the lambda by 4 coaxial bond that is uh, we are going to connect uh, the another uh, case that is your uh, it's like a metallic uh, conductor has been connected nearby this uh, uh, coaxial line it is not on the encapsulation right it is nearby this it has been connected over here whose length is lambda by 4 so because of this uh, the i3 current components will be cancelled while flowing toward this uh, what is that uh, shield of the coaxial cable so now this i3 current component will be reduced and we can make uh, i1 is equal to i2 in the uh, terminals of the antenna systems clear the main objective is we are going to minimize the i3 current component which is flowing around this uh, outer shield right uh, next this is the compact design of the balloon structures so here we have uh, this is the coaxial cable and uh, this structure will uh, minimize this uh, outer current component so outer metal sleeve is fit and the portion of it is removed and opposite sides right the remaining opposite parts of the outer sleeve represent electrically so the two shorter lambda by 4 parallel transmission lines are connected over here so this is the way we are going to minimize the uh, outer current component in order to balance the coaxial cable to the antenna systems so with this we will wind up the today class